Yeah, there we go. Is this one of these Sunco? Supposed to be the 778H. Yeah, there we go. 778H. So there's the spot welder. So this is a battery tab spot welder for lithium cells. I figure since I had those uh, 400 brand new cells that I need to pair up. I was originally thinking of soldering them, but I think this will work better. Pair them up and then I'll solder to the tabbing in between, just like I'm doing with my used batteries. Yeah, so I had to take a quick look inside here. Not much in there. I guess this is your transformer. It's supposed to have a 30 amp fuse. The ground is actually connected here. And we got the this hot and neutral will go up through the fuse and then over to the transformer through the on off switch on the front there. And then here's your two high current leads right there. And then this is the tension adjuster. So this thing as you screw it up and down, it, this uh, lower piece slides up and down and pulls more tension on the spring. or That's loosening it so it's it's easier to lift and then if you come up here it puts more more tension on the spring and then it's harder to uh, you know you get more pressure on your spot weld and yeah it seems to work I plugged it in 120 volts and hit the weld button and it, it went didn't blow the circuit breaker I have 20 amp uh, circuits in the house so apparently 20 amps is plenty you can take a look on the Back side here, there's your uh, circuit board. I guess this must be the main triac that turns the welding transformer on and off. The only thing I might do in here is maybe put a put a bit of a fan. Maybe I can find a 120 volt fan or find out what I might actually do is use the charger and set it to 12 volts and then I could put a 12 volt PC fan inside of here. Okay, YouTube, got the uh, fan output working here. I was first thinking I would solder onto these terminals. These are the banana jacks that the charging leads plug into. And I was just going to make up a cable. But these are apparently smaller than the normal. I think these are 3.5 millimeter plugs. And they don't, they don't fit in there. They're too tight. So I figure I'm... Probably not going to use their charging cable, so what I did, I just got a little two-pin header and just soldered half of the little alligator clip to each side. And then before I go any farther, I'll just wrap a little tape around there to keep it from shorting out inside. And so then I just plug that into the fan connector. This is just a 40 millimeter 12 volt fan that I had. I might get something a little bigger so I can turn on the charger and I have it set for there we go 12 volts so I can just use the red button to turn the fan on and off and in fact if I leave it leave it plugged in I can, it'll just turn on automatically so yeah I think that'll work I'm planning to do a couple of things to it one is this is the main triac that switches the transformer on and off when you make contact with the spot welding electrodes. Some of the early models of this spot welder actually have a heat sink for this. This one just has a bunch of plated through holes it looks like and it's just screwed down to the PCB. There's some heat sink compound under there. I was thinking at least for a first pass I might try just sticking a heat sink on top of that. I don't really have room. There's a fuse right here. I can't lay the heat sink down on the circuit board, but I th think just having having that uh, screwed down on top there might do the trick. Just give it a little extra thermal there. Picked up a 80 millimeter case fan and I was thinking about mounting that down inside here. So I've got a Let's see if that's the right size. Yeah, that looks right. So I printed out an 80 millimeter yep, fan template there. So I've got to figure out, I guess, 
Yeah, someplace around in here on the back side, so I'll, I'll figure out where I want to put that. I guess the fuse, yeah, that's the fuse right there. So I could come down a little bit. So I have the template mounted on the back of the spot welder, and that's for an 80 millimeter PC case fan. And then I have a three inch hole saw. It's the approximate size of the hole in the middle there. So all I need to do is just drill the four corner mounting holes and the center hole there and then I'll punch out the hole for the fan and then use my air compressor to blow out the metal shavings and then we'll get the fan stuck in there and see how it looks. Okay there we go YouTube got the fan installed added a fan plug off of the original battery charging cables and so now if I turn on the power supply get the fan running and I can set the speed by whatever voltage I dial in on the power supply there. Another little modification there so I've added that heat sink there. I bent up the end so there's clearance on the uh, terminals there. That should help cool the triac so you got the air blowing in from the fan and it'll blow out each side and there, hopefully there'll be enough turbulence in here to keep the transformer cool. I think if I ever have uh, have to replace the triac I'll put mount it a little higher so I can put a heat sink underneath it which would probably work a little better because you have the metal tab underneath and this this is only attached to the plastic of the package so that might not work as good but I figure it's better than nothing. If I ever have to replace that I've got the heat sink already there. So yeah, just uh, give you a look at that. Here's the back end. So I might try to find a grill for the fan. But yeah, a three inch hole saw is perfect size for an 80 millimeter case fan. So anyway, I'll get this put back together and hopefully I'll be using it in a few days. So yeah, if you have any questions, post up in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.